We need gym mats. A suspicious amount of gym mats. And a car clean, like, Jesus Christ. It's so warm. And dusty. Look, it's a mining work truck, don't judge me. I'm not superwoman. Okay, look, that's clearly not a place that you buy gym mats at. It's BCF. It's like a camping fishing store here in Australia. Or a cheap one. And it might be the Joe Rogan effect, but I want to go back to using cast iron cookware for a number of reasons. I'm just really sick of buying expensive frying pans that only last a couple of years. Cast iron always works. Conveniently, the box is already open. I also had to get a uh, mosquito net for all the dog hair that's getting blown out. I don't know if anyone's ever had to blow out a husky before, but you basically end up with a second dog. So we got a cast iron pan, we got a mosquito net, and I got this dog. Now I just need gym mats. Best. Which aisle of gym mats in? If you guess 39, you are correct. Since I was about 16, I've been into weightlifting. Theory. That should stay together. <laughs> this is a bit of a luxury these days. Back when I first started doing fitness related activities, I was using literally old clothes filled with rocks and sand, milk bottles full of water. Nothing as fancy as some gym mats. <laughs> It's not very big, but it's enough, said every guy on Tinder ever. You see, when I was in high school, I copped a lot of bullying. I mean, a lot. And the gym that was set up at my school saved me. Ooh, yeah. It was the first time in my life where I had active control over the level of resistance that I was receiving. And doing something as simple as learning how to do a dumbbell curl and getting through my sets and achieving my workout at the end of the day put me in a position, at least in my mind, where I was able to actually start building resilience. Because yes, weightlifting absolutely is to do with fitness. Some, for some people it's to do with aesthetics. But for me, it was about learning how to do something hard well. Doing uncomfortable things I've discovered in my life has ultimately led me to the greatest successes of my life. Almost everything that I've ever accomplished doing something easy has only been short-term gratifying and usually forgotten very quickly. But I promise you, I still remember to this day 
the first bodybuilding competition I ever went into and the fact that I actually managed to place. Because that was 16 weeks of my life where I had absolute dedication. And every time since where I've done something where I've put myself in the face of hardship and adversity, I've come out a much more educated and stronger individual. And lastly, there's a very interesting scientific principle around testosterone. And that is that if you're a young male or if you're a male in general that has a lot of testosterone coursing around your body, adversity and struggle is made pleasurable by that hormone. And that means if you're a young man, who's feeling a little bit lost and looking for an outlet to get up that pent up energy, anger and frustration that you're probably feeling inside if you haven't been doing something difficult, I strongly suggest either get in the gym, start running, start boxing, start MMA, do something hard and you will find gratification within it.